Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dang. Welcome to this video. So we're going to be talking about how to take care of your succulents and plants when it comes to pests as in like mealybugs, aphids, or gnats, or scale bugs, or stuff like that because it is currently the right time to do it uh, because we need to prep all these plants to bring in. It is, uh, well, getting to the winter winter season right now. Uh, so that means that it's cooler, it's more damp, there's rain and all that other stuff, right? So that means that the bugs and pests are hatching out and they need something to eat. So during the summertime, I had no problems with any of these at all because, well, it was too hot, too dry for them to hatch, but now they are hatching. And it's really, really horrible because I've already had a casualty, oh my god! Um, I'm gonna show you, this is my Silver Star and I actually really like this plant. But unfortunately, because I've been working so much, I had not been taking care of any of these plants at all. Um, and I did not notice until now, but until today that well there's an infestation of mealybugs in it and it pretty much ate out the core of the plant which means that it rotted and it died don't worry I still have a lot of great leaves that are not affected which means I can propagate them so there are two or three things that you can use well more, mainly two things you can use to um, get rid of the bugs to get rid of the pests one of the most recommended thing is rubbing alcohol right here and the other thing is insecticide so these two will work fine on your plants it won't really harm your plants at all it's actually better to use them because then you can kill the bugs which will actually it will, will be doing them a huge huge favor right so when you're using rubbing alcohol and usually you use it with q-tip right Q-tip, you just dip it inside and then rub where uh, the mealybugs are. Mealybugs are white, little, tiny, fluffy type of um, um, uh, bugs. Um, and you want to kill them because they eat all your, uh, all the stem core, not really the leaves. They don't really eat the leaves, they, they eat the stem. And that's the problem. When they finish eating the stem, it rots the plant and it just the plant is just dead. So you, you want to dip it into uh, alcohol and just rub it like that, right? Just rub it away. But the problem is that the Q-tip is actually very, very big for like something like this. I can't really, you know, you know, go in there and do all that. I can't because I won't be able to cover all of it, which kind of sucks. So what I do is I pour my rubbing alcohol into this tiny little spray right here. And what I do is I actually just spray in the middle of the plants and the stem. Because that is where the mealybugs thrive. That's where they want to live. They actually don't want to live on the, uh, the leaves because the leaf gets sunshine and that will kill the mealybugs. They want to be where, where it's damp, where it's dark, you know, underside, that's in the middle and all that other stuff, right? That's where they want to eat your plants. So you want to spray it all around like that, 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 you know, inside as well. And where I actually, I actually also spray is also on the soil. So that way I know that I'm taking care of these mealybugs so that they don't come back and haunt me. Um, and that's pretty much what I do with the majority of my plants because how am I gonna get in there with a Q-tip, right? And it doesn't hurt the plants, trust me. Um, so now, what I wanna let you know is when you're using any of these um, substances, compounds, you have to remember that they're blocking, they, they create residue on the leaves. And that means that when the residue build up, the leaves will not be able to absorb in the sunlight which creates the nutrients that they need to grow. Um, so when that happens, your plant is gonna die, right? And you're like, oh dang, how am I gonna take care of that? I need to kill all the mealybugs, don't worry. Once all the bugs and infestation is taken care of, that you know 100% that it's taken care of, right, and they're gone, all you do is take a spray bottle with water and just spray the leaves so that it washes away the build-up residue. So then your plants can absorb light again and flourish. That's pretty much it. Um, so while you are doing this, what you also wanna do is get rid of dead leaves like this. Because this right here is an invitation, a banquet for the bugs and stuff to start eating, start growing in there. You wanna get rid of all this stuff, right? All that, ugh, that's disgusting. Okay, um, most succulent plants are easy to do, but most aren't because I can see right here, right here, this example again, my fat fingers are not gonna be able to go in there and get all the dead leaves out, right? So what I do is I use a tweezer, a little tweezer, and I just go and pluck them out 
pluck, 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 pluck